Welcome back, guys. I'm Hollywood Joe Tussing, and we are watching UFC 224, Nunez versus Pennington. The main event just wrapped up in what was another dominant performance by Amanda Nunez. Raquel Pennington made it halfway through the fifth round before succumbing to a devastated nose, turning over and tapping to strikes by Amanda Nunez. Just another dominant performance by the Lioness. In the first round, Amanda Nunez put on a low kick clinic. She chewed up the front leg of Raquel Pennington the entire round. By the second round, Pennington's leg was covered in welts from the knee down. In the second round, Pennington actually got a takedown, did a little bit of work with the ground and pound, started to look like she could turn the tide, but Amanda Nunez pushed her off, got back to her feet, and started to stalk Pennington again. In the third round, Amanda Nunez really started to break away from Pennington, pushing Pennington against the cage, keeping her on her back foot, and opening up with combos. She was really doing a lot of damage to Pennington's front leg and throwing a lot of shots, a lot of one-twos that Pennington really couldn't counter. In the fourth round, Pennington just didn't look like she was going to make it through the round. Uh, it's very surprising that that she made it to the fifth round. Uh, she was on her back, but Amanda Nunez just didn't do enough to get the ref to stop it. She wasn't able to pass guard. She wasn't able to be effective with her ground and pound. So the fourth round ended with Amanda Nunez pushing Raquel Pennington up against the cage and just unloading with one twos, low kicks, started working the clinch a little bit and really started to break Amanda or really started to break Raquel Pennington down. Before the fifth round, Raquel Pennington went back to her corner and she actually said that she was done. And I don't think that she meant that she wanted to quit. I think that she was saying, man, I'm just so tired. I don't have anything left. Uh, the corner gave her some inspirational words. She stuck it out, but the fight could have easily been stopped after the fourth round. In the fifth round, Nunez stalked a little bit, really started working the clinch with the knees, uh, split Pennington's forehead open, and then dropped her. Uh, she was able to land just a beautiful forearm elbow. I think that's what busted Raquel Pennington's nose wide open. She started gushing blood. She turned over a few strikes from Nunez and the referee stepped in. Just an extremely dominant performance from the, the Lioness. I really hope that we get to see Amanda Nunez versus Chris Cyborg next. That's really the only fight that makes sense in the women's divisions right now. Um, no one is calling out Cyborg except Nunez. I think they should give her what she's asking for. I think that would be an exciting fight. Great UFC, an outstanding card, exciting fights, a lot of knockouts. Uh, Leota Machida, beautiful knockout of Vitor Belfort. Mackenzie Dern gets the first round RNC submission. Uh, Kelvin Gastelum just looked great against Jacare. And Amanda Nunez and still very good UFC 224. Excited for the next fight night. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.